Welcome to vSkills, YouTube channel. In this video, you will learn about the top interview questions for, Tally ERP9. So, let's get started. Question number 1, what is a group in Tally ERP9? The answer is, group in Tally ERP9 can be defined as a compilation of ledgers of the same nature. In a company, operating costs like electric bills, telephone bills, conveyance, etc., are commonly included in groups. The ledger based on these expenses can be created to be used while accounting vouchers are entered. There are 28 groups by default in Tally ERP9, out of which 15 are primary groups and 13 are subgroups. Question number 2. What is the shortcut to retrieve the last line which is removed in Tally ERP9? The answer is, the shortcut to retrieve the last removed line is Control plus U. Question number 3. What is the shortcut to recall the last narration saved for the first ledger in the voucher? The answer is, the shortcut to recall the last narration stored for the first ledger in the voucher is ALT plus R. Question number 4. How books of accounts can be viewed in Tally ERP9? The answer is, to view the books of accounts, press D at the entry of Tally ERP9 to pull the display menu. On the display menu, we have to press A to bring up the accounts books menu. Question number 5. How profit and loss statement can be viewed in Tally ERP9? The answer is, to view the profit and loss statement, press F1, detailed which will display the data based on the default primary groups, with every transaction or voucher that has been entered instantly. Question number 6. How can we generate the Schedule VI Profit and Loss account using an auditor's edition of Tally ERP9? The answer is, to generate the Schedule VI balance sheet using an auditor's edition of Tally ERP9, we are required to go to the gateway of Tally, then, Audit and Compliance, then, Financial Statements, then, Profit and Loss account. After that, we should press Ctrl plus 3 to load the previous year's company to generate the Schedule VI Profit and Loss account with two years data. Question number 7. What is the shortcut to cancel a daybook or list of vouchers in Tally ERP9? The answer is, to cancel a daybook or list of vouchers in Tally ERP9, the shortcut is ALT plus X. Question number 8. What is the shortcut to filter the information based on the monetary value most from all report screens in Tally ERP9? The answer is, you can use the shortcut ALT plus F12 to filter the information based on the monetary value in Tally ERP9. Question number 9. What features you can use to convert data in encrypted form in Tally ERP9? The answer is. To convert data in encrypted form in Tally ERP9, you can use the function Tally Vault. You have to go to the gateway of Tally and press F3 to use Tally Vault and there you can select the company for which you want to encrypt the data. Those encrypted data can be viewed only by one person having a valid password. Question number 10. What is the shortcut to select the purchase order voucher type? The answer is, you can use the shortcut ALT plus F4 to select the purchase order voucher type, at accounting and inventory voucher creation and alteration screens. Question number 11, how can you copy text from Tally? The answer is, you can use the shortcut CTRL plus ALT plus C to copy text and CTRL plus ALT plus V to paste the text. Question number 12, how can you check company statutory details? The answer is, to check company statutory details from any screen you can use the shortcut CTRL plus ALT plus B. Question number 13. What is the use of a statement of inventory? The answer is. Statement of inventory is used to view the reports on inventory based on go-downs. Tracking details of items according to the inventory. Also, to query on the stock and check out the budget's forecasts and statistics, plans, etc. Question number 14. What are the predefined ledgers available in Tally ERP9? The answer is, there are two predefined ledgers available in Tally ERP9. First, cash. Under the group cash in hand, a cash ledger is created, where the opening balance can be entered as the books begin. Second, profit and loss account. This ledger is created under primary, where the previous year's profit or loss is entered as the opening balance. Question number 15. Explain the setup process for an employee in Tally ERP9 for their payroll? The answer is, Tally ERP9 gives the facility to create the required groups and classify them into different categories like Employee Category Employee Groups And Employees Question number 16 
What options are available in Account Books menu in Tally ERP 9? The answer is, Account Books menu include Bank Books Cash Books Ledger Group Summary Sales Register Purchase Register Journal Register Question number 17. What is the trial balance in Tally ERP 9? The answer is a trial balance is a summary of all ledger balances and helps in checking whether the transactions are correct and balanced. If journal entries are error-free and posted correctly to the general ledger, the total of all debit balances should be equal to the total of all credit balances. Question number 18. What is the default configuration that Tally ERP 9 provides for the balance sheet? The answer is. Two columns with liabilities and assets will be displayed by the balance sheet in the Tally ERP 9. The closing balances of all the primary groups or capital accounts and the net profit for the period are all displayed by the balance sheet. Question number 19. What kind of information is typically stored in a directory services database? The answer is. Directory server provides a central repository for storing and managing information. Almost any kind of information can be stored, from identity profiles and access privileges to information about the application and network resources, printers, network devices and manufactured parts. Question number 20. What is the shortcut for voucher creation and alteration screen in Tally ERP 9? The answer is. For voucher creation, the shortcut keys are Alt plus C and to modify any master item on a voucher, we have to select the specific ledger on the sales voucher screen and press Ctrl plus Enter. Question number 21. What is the shortcut to repeat the narration on a voucher? The answer is. Press Ctrl plus R, to repeat the narration on a voucher. Question number 22. What is reversing journals for? The answer is, reversing journals is a specific entry in tally which is reversed automatically after the date of issue. Question number 23. What are the features of accounting in tally ERP 9? The answer is, for accounting tally ERP 9 offers. Outstanding management. Cost or profit centers management. Invoicing. Budget or scenario management. Other features like check printing, etc. Question number 24. What is the shortcut to select the credit note voucher in Tally ERP 9? The answer is, press Ctrl plus F8, which enables you to select the credit note voucher in Tally ERP 9. Question number 25. What shortcut will you use to duplicate a voucher and to add a voucher in Tally ERP 9? The answer is, to duplicate a voucher. Use shortcut keys Alt plus 2 and to add a voucher, use Alt plus A. Question number 26. What is the function of Ctrl plus N in Tally? The answer is, by using the function of Ctrl plus N in Tally, it will open the calculator. Question number 27. What is the shortcut key to create a new column in the balance sheet? The answer is, to create a new column in the balance sheet, the shortcut key is Alt plus C. Question number 28. Revenue account is also known by the name of? The answer is, revenue account is also known by the name of nominal account. Question number 29. What is the shortcut key to change the date in the tally? The answer is, to change the date in the tally, the shortcut key is F2. Question number 30. Why Tally Vault is used? The answer is, Tally Vault is a kind of security feature built in Tally. An advanced level security feature in Tally ERP to keep up the confidentiality of information by encrypting the data. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel.